Hello viewers, welcome back. In this question, we are looking at question two. Sub one, solve for x the equation log two, log x minus three base two plus log x base two equals two, three max. Sub two, express f of theta, where f of theta equals root three on two cos theta plus a half sine theta in the form r cos theta minus lambda, where R is greater than zero and lambda is an acute angle. Hence, find the maximum value of the expression two over four plus f of theta, seven max. Thank you and welcome to the GCE panel. Please, before you start answering this, uh, before you start looking at this uh, equation, please click on the subscription below and the notifications so that once you upload a new video, you are automatically notified. Thank you and share our videos as we move ahead. So we have been given this uh, log, since it's a product or a sum rather, we are going to apply products, okay? We're going to multiply the logs. So this is going to give us um, log x minus three times two, base two, okay? So we have log x minus three, base two, plus a log x base two to be equal to two. This will give us, we have log x, into x minus 3 base 2 is equal to 2. From this point, we will have x, okay, we want to convert to exponential form. So we have x into x minus 3 to be equal to the base. The base here is 2 to this power 2. So x into x minus 3 equals uh, 2 squared, which can now be written as x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. So we have a quadratic now. When you factorize this quadratic, we we'll have x minus 4 into x plus 1 equals 0. And from here, the roots of the equation will be x equals 4 or x equals negative 1. So this is it for sub 1. Now for sub 2, express f of theta, where f of theta equals root 3 on 2 cos theta plus a half sine theta in the form r cos theta minus lambda, okay? Where the radius is uh, positive or r is positive and lambda is an acute angle. So at this point, our f of theta will be equal to root three on two cos theta plus a half sine theta. And this will be identical to, if we expand r cos theta minus lambda, okay? That's going to give us, if we expand this, we'll have r cos theta cos lambda plus r sine theta sine lambda. Note that for cos a minus b, when you expand, you're going to have that plus. That's why we have plus at this position here. Now, these two equations are the same, okay? For means that r cos lambda is equal to root 3 on 2, and we use other one, r sine lambda is equal to a half. From here, we have r cos lambda and r uh, sine lambda. For us to have uh, tan lambda, we will say r sine lambda divided by r cos lambda. So we equally divide this side, a half divided by a root three on two. Tan lambda will be equal to one on root three. From here, our R2, for us to obtain R, R is given by root three on two squared plus a half squared, the square root of that. And that's going to give us the square root of four, which is two. That's why our R is two here. And then if tan lambda is equal to one on root three, then that angle must be pi on six, okay? And when does this happen? This happens when you have something like with the angle is 30 degrees. Mm? Pi on 6, 30 degrees. Because sine 30 is a half, and cos 30 is root 3 on 2. So we know that tan lambda, which is 1 on root 3, means that lambda is equal to pi on 6. We can now rewrite f of theta as, in the form of r cos theta minus lambda as, 2 cos theta minus pi on 6. Now, the next part of the question says that hence find the maximum value of this other expression. 
Hence means you must use the solution to the previous working to actually do the computation or the calculations here. So we are going to have uh, the maximum value will be given by, you know, the value will be maximum uh, when this value, when the denominator is instead minimum. Okay, when it's minimum, but in this case, cannot take when it's negative two. So the maximum value will be when f uh, is two, that's f of theta is two, because for f of theta, which is two cos something, the maximum value of two cos anything is, uh, neg the maximum value is plus two, because the absolute value of cos anything is one. The maximum value of cos theta is one, the minimum value is negative one. So for two cos theta minus something, the maximum value will be plus two, minimum value is negative two. Okay, so the maximum value of f of theta here is plus 2 and the minimum value is negative 2. Which therefore means that our uh, maximum value here will be equal to 2 over 4 plus 2. This is the 4 in the equation here. So we're going to have 2 over 4 plus 2 or 2 over 4 plus f of theta. And the maximum value um, will not be when we have this other value. So but now, since we are not very very sure also about the negative and the positive, what we do is that we'll fit all of them and then we compare and then we see. Okay, but when are we going to have the denominator to be negative to be minimum? The denominator will be minimum when f of theta is uh, this negative value. 